Hey, what is up guys? Ben here, um, and welcome to your third installment of the FRC Team 2485 uh, Java Robotics Programming Tutorial videos. Always a mouthful, always fun to say, always a fun time. <laughs> I should make that my slogan. Um, uh, sorry for making the last video so long, I'm going to try to keep this one a little bit shorter. Not so much to cover in this video, so that shouldn't be too difficult, but let's get started. Alright, uh, last time I had you make that just like a test folder, by the way, I'm going to go back here and delete this repository, um, so you're going to go in settings, uh, delete this repository, danger zone, let's see, it's called tutorial, Get. so they're trying to make you really safe, so there it is, um, wow. Okay. Um, okay, so here we have uh, Let's Learn Git. I'm not in there anymore. CD dash dash. Okay. Whoa, trash. That's that's awesome because I moved to the trash. Um, okay, what we're going to want to do here is I have this tutorials framework. It's kind of like a, it's a copy of your 2015 code, but uh, altered a lot to make it um, adaptable to this tutorial video and these series of tutorial videos, I guess. So if you want to follow along, um, be sure to, we have this up on our search team 2485 on GitHub, 2485, no spaces, and then go down to users and it'll be right here, team 2485 warlords. And it's, um, ooh, ooh, exciting. <laughs> um, go down to team uh, tutorials framework it should be public and you can just uh you can just clone the repo so um let's see i don't think you guys have done that yet maybe you have but there's a possibility that you haven't so you can go here or you can go to the uh thing up here and just copy it and then i'm not going to copy because i already have it but go to the folder that you want to copy it into um command c or control c if you're on a pc um, CD, uh, change directory, and then paste, and boom, there you go. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're in there. Now you have to go get, uh, I copied the directory, so I'm going to have to go back, but get clone, there's a new command possibly, and then go over here, copy the uh, URL, and then paste it. I'm not going to do that since I already have it, but enter, and then it should create hopefully a folder right here and this is going to be the tutorials framework folder so you are well on your way um, next thing you're going to want to do you don't want to edit so you, and you have the source um, team to, you have the robot and you could edit it it gets right there but you want to use an IDE if you can an integrated development environment and that's what um, Eclipse is that's the kind of FRC supported development environment. So, um, so you're gonna want to go there, get the development environment, or you already have the development environment because you got that in the first video. So, open up Eclipse, and um, I'll see I'll see you over there. Okay, so now we're in Eclipse here, um, and I already have the tutorials framework in here already, but you can go f uh, file import. And then um, import existing projects into work uh, workspace, um, and then browse, click on it, enter, and then click finish, and then it'll show up right here. Um, um, and basically, I'm gonna be just showing you like I don't know. It's like how we do the code. There are a bunch of different ways to do it, but if you're interested, this is one way that. Um, that will get the robot to move if you want um, to use it. There are a lot of different teams, a lot of different resources out there, but I'll just walk you through the way that we do it. And all of these classes, by the way, are available online. You can use like tutorials framework if you, even if you want, but you can also just clone our um, FRC 2015 repo or you can um, just copy the files over from that repo. But anyway, um, uh, come in here, and you're going to want to go to, um,
uh, you're going to want to come into, let's see, where do you want to start? I'm just going to give you a basic tour, I guess, of the code on this first video. Um, so the where we start is with robot.java. And this is um, a class that uh, extends iterative robot. So that's that would be the subclass that or the uh, super the parent class, um, and I don't know. You could go to iterative robot. There are a lot. There's a lot of stuff there that's not really important to see. But basically, what it does is it gives you these uh, methods, and um, the methods robot init, autonomous init, autonomous periodic. Teleop in it, teleop periodic. So you can see a pattern here, disabled in it, disabled periodic. And so there are these kind of like four modes, I guess, of your robot state. One of them is autonomous, teleop, disabled, uh, and test. Um, and you can have code that runs right at the beginning of the loop, and then code that runs every... Um, uh, runs every five milliseconds, so 20 times a second. Um, and so what's really cool about the iterative robot is that you don't, there's like the main me method is hidden away, you don't have to worry about any of that, you just have to put code in these methods that you want to run every 20 milliseconds, or every five milliseconds, 20 times a second. Um, so that's really cool that you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, and then you also have the init code that you can put in when you want. So you have the fields, the init, um, all that good stuff. And then you can even write like private methods here if you want to like, if you do something a lot in your robot code and you just want to do it down here and that's awesome. Update dashboard is a really cool function um, method I guess in Java. <laughs> um, and it will run whenever you want it to run. Um, last year we had it running um, in the periodic of teleop, disabled, um, autonomous periodic because we just wanted to see that data like as much as we could um, and we had a ton of stuff in update dashboard like stuff putting stuff to the dashboard I don't think I'm gonna cover dashboard stuff here but I'll do that at some point um, uh, and then so that's the first thing there's the uh, robot class and then we have uh, subsystems so one subsystem would be last year, or I just have an example here from last year that we had. Let's see if I can go. These rollers here, they, we made, ended up making them wheels, but you can see that at one point they're just like belts. Same thing, it's just a motor. Um, and um, so that's the one of the test classes that um, that we have uh, for you guys to look at. Um, and then, shoot, <laughs> rollers, um, uh, and I'm going to be going through with the rollers and all that. Um, and then uh, there are a bunch of utility methods which I left in here since they kind of can be applied to a bunch of different FRC stuff. Really useful. Um, we like them. Hopefully if you guys do this, you'll like them also. <laughs> Um, and then there's the autonomous um, part of the robot code, which is auto. These are kind of, um, a lot of these are classes that are just always there. They kind of like work in the background, I guess. Um, sequencer factory is the one that you're going to be changing because this depends on, um, or you make this depending on like what you want your autonomous thing to be doing or just a sequence that you run in teleop. Um, and then the other thing is sequenced items. So you're going to be adding to this every time you want to do something else in a sequence, in a autonomous sequence or a teleop sequence. So I'll explain how all that works later down the road, but that's a quick tour of the basics of our uh, code. Uh, thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time, and I hope that was helpful.